Welcome to Getting Real with John Natale. I'm your host today, John Natale, to discuss on episode 54, are paid leads still worth it in today's real estate world? Obviously, the real estate industry has changed. It's changed immensely this year. And a big lead source for a lot of people are paid leads. So in this episode, I'm going to kind of go through what is worth it, what could not be worth it anymore, and overall have a picture for you on what paid lead strategies might still be worth your dollars and your investment that you can get a, a good return on that investment to close more business in 2025. Before we go into paid leads and some alternatives and what I really believe about this whole scenario, I have to take a minute to thank you for listening to this podcast. Getting Real is a part of everything we're building here at Natali to fundamentally redesign the real estate industry so less agents fail and more agents find the life of their dreams. We are big believers in real estate agents that are attraction magnets in their community where people want to work with them directly and that's what we're building out across the country if you're an agent out there you want to grow your personal brand you want to grow on social media you want to grow in your community you want people to reach out to you directly not just because of happenstance and we're going to talk about some of that happenstance today it's not that it's non-existent in real estate or should never be a part of it it just has its role but if you want to 100 percent have people picking up the phone texting messaging you dming you every single day saying hey you i want to work with you then the, the natalie coaching program is most likely a great fit for you we are helping agents across the country we're above 40 agents right now the success of the agents is clear. We have agents that come into the program and within 60 days, 10X their following, have numerous deals under contract, and are absolutely crushing it, no matter how experienced they are. That is the coolest thing of what's happening. Whether you're a first-year agent, second-year, third-year, fifth-year, or 15-year agent. I've been doing this 16 years, but the truth is in the pudding. People resonate with people that put themselves out there on social media. And whether you have that first year, whether you have your second year done, whether you're in your fifth year, your 10th year, your 15th year, it does not matter to people if you can resonate and create a personal brand. So there's never been a better time to be in real estate. And if you need help and you need guidance, there are links below, no matter where you're listening to this or watching this on YouTube to get more information. And it's very simple, nataliecoaching.com. All the information you need, everything we do, all the pricing, and right at the bottom, super simple, right into my calendar, you can book a discovery call with me. And yes, I actually show up to it, not someone else. It's my company and I will be there for your discovery call. If you're an agent here in New Jersey and you're looking for a great real estate company to join, where we are helping agents here locally do this. We have a great compensation plan of 100% commission goes to you as the agent. I'd love to discuss it with you. There's a link below to fill out a form and then I will reach out to you to discuss it. And guys, today here on episode 54, we are going to go through of how much are paid leads really worth it anymore? Because the truth is much of the paid lead side has always been geared towards buyers, especially on the big portals. The Realtor.coms of the world, OpCity, the Zillows of the world, Zillow, Zillow Premier Agent and Zillow Flex. A lot of those portals where a lot of the lead money is depends on buyers, right? It has always been, hey, I want to see this house from the consumer side, press a button here, and then an agent just shows up at the house to meet them. Now that agent, and if you are that agent, there's nothing wrong with being a part of that. However, we have to think about the fundamental value of that lead now because everything has changed. Before you go and show that house, you need to have a signed agreement with the buyer or you could be out of compliance and that's fine. Here in New Jersey, it's a state law. So you could, you could be literally putting your license here in New Jersey at risk. It's not just a business practice here. This is actually a state law. So you can be putting your license at risk if you do that. However, the value of that lead, if we're all being honest, is it the same as it was five, six months ago before the settlement and everything was announced? It's very hard to see how it's worth the same amount or more solely because I already know what's happening. I coach so many agents across the country. I talk to so many agents across the country. I talk to people running Zillow Flex teams. I talk to people that use Realtor.com and OpCity. And the reality is, although they're still getting people to come through and they'll be able to display their value over the phone or however they're connecting through these, through these lead sources, the fact remains so many buyers are dropping out of it right at that moment. And this isn't a refining the process type of thing. We'll talk about some strategies you should be doing. However, if you are 
aren't doing paid leads. However, there's just a fundamental reason why. Most consumers reaching out to those portals, even they're either they're just simply looky lose, like not actually serious at looking at home. And once you're, you know, have a contract in front of you, it's like, wow, I actually need to be serious about looking at this house or I'm not going to sign it and I'm not going to go look. So the buyers are not as serious. And at the same time, when the buyers who are not as serious obviously are not going to sign, you're getting a lot of people as well with these paid leads, especially through Zillow and Realtor.com. Oh, my agent's on vacation or, oh, I thought you were the listing agent. All this type of stuff where when you present the contract, it gets a lot harder. So that's why I personally feel the value of a lot of these leads is going to drop. Doesn't mean paid leads are going to go away. Doesn't mean Zillow is going to go away tomorrow. I have a very popular video where I talk about, I think Zillow is in some serious trouble in particular because 75% of their revenue comes from selling leads to real estate agents. And again, they can, you know, they can start hiding the Zestimate and make consumers pay for it. Or when they want to get the Zestimate, then an agent has to come over and give them a home estimate. All these types of things can happen, right? And they can start to pivot towards the seller side a little bit. But the reality is there's there's a rub there and, and a lot of consumers don't really believe what they see online when it comes to their home values and, and whatnot. Everyone kind of knows that this estimate is just that, it's a guess and it's crunching data. And you, if you live in a cookie cutter area with cookie cutter neighborhoods and cookie cutter homes, yeah, it's probably actually pretty accurate, at least in the range that they have. But here in New Jersey, the range will sometimes for a $600,000 home be like 470 to 670. So you know, what are you what are you really gaining in terms of value from Zillow? So these paid leads are probably going to be worth less, I think, in the immediate short term as all this stuff shakes out. But in the long term, I could actually see paid leads having a little bit more value. And the reason being is people are going to stop clicking as much. So the volume will not be there. But the maybe the person who actually really is trying to get into that house and doesn't really care and they're going to realize like, OK, doesn't really matter who's showing me the house. They're going to have that opinion. And that person will just use a buyer's agent that goes to meet them. But if you are doing paid leads, here's what I want to leave you with. The easiest way to convert more of them is to one, have a massive personal brand because they may already be, if they're searching for homes online, what typically happens is they go to TikTok, they go to Instagram. That's why I've done so damn well. I'm still one of the only people in my immediate area with a huge personal brand. So when they leave the Zillows of the world, they leave Realtor.com, they leave Homes.com, they leave all the brokerage websites. When they go back onto TikTok, Instagram, and all these other places, they are seeing me. So having a strong personal brand obviously is important, but if you're doing paid leads, they'll they'll start to connect it as well. They'll be like, oh, you're actually that guy I see all the time on social media. And that's what helps, right? When I'm sending people a bunch of postcards or something, you know, a little bit, uh, a few years ago, and I'm sending them postcards, and then they see me on social media, and then they see me at a community event, all of those different types of mediums to reach them now create a better picture for them and it really connects them. So the same thing for paid leads. Like If you're going to do paid leads, having a strong personal brand is really, really important because they're probably going to see you on social media as well. So it'll be easier for them to say, oh yeah, John, I see you all the, all the time. I didn't realize I get connected through homes.com or realtor.com or OpCity or you know any sort of lead service out there. I'm just using the big names. There are literally hundreds of paid lead sources and a lot of them sell buyer leads. And the reality is, if you have a strong personal brand, it will probably help with connection. Now, number two, you have to get your script right. And again, some of these portals are providing them, but I'm working with a lot of agents across the country that are doing some of these arrangements. And we're working on what's working. And what we've seen so far is getting on the phone and asking that one question that typically gets people into at least the consultation to say, have you heard of all the changes that have happened when it comes to buyer's agency here in whatever state you're in? In Indiana, California, in New Mexico, in Texas, in Florida, in New Jersey, doesn't matter. When you ask that question, have you heard about the changes about buyer agency here in so-and-so? Now, when we, again, we don't do paid leads here in New Jersey. But when we have people, when we ask that question to buyers that reach out to us, because it's not always paid leads, but we have a ton of leads coming into our business, mostly through our personal brand and mostly through social media. When they ask, when we ask them that question here in New Jersey, I shit you not. It's not even 99%, 100%. I've never had someone say, or anybody that is at my company when they ask, has had anyone say, no, I haven't heard what's happening. Everybody heard what's, has heard what's happening and everybody has a clue. Nobody is nobody has fully said, oh, I understand it 100%. I'm in the real estate business and I know exactly what I should be asking you. But every single person has had the same answer. Yeah, I've heard something about it. Okay, perfect. Are you cool to... So what I'm doing with, with people who do pay leads, because again, that's all about immediacy, right? Like that's why they're just going onto one of these portals and requesting an appointment. They don't know who's going to be meeting them there. They just want the appointment. They just want the door opened. So when you right away can say, okay, you know what? And again, this isn't going to always be a possibility, but if you're doing paid leads, you got to try to make it as much as possible. Are you free right now to hop on a virtual call and go through this? And again, you need to be prepped for that. 
right? If you can't, you're at a kid's soccer game or something like that. I realize that this is this makes it harder, but this is what's being done successfully to convert a lot of these paid leads into actual clients. Can you hop on a virtual call right now? You know, I see you have an iPhone. Can we FaceTime real quick? Be able to share your screen and walk through the buyer's agency agreement, what they're looking to buy, the property they want to look at, all that type of stuff. If you can do that in that moment, your chances of actually converting that lead just shot up dramatically, right? I'm a big, huge believer in social media and personal brand. We're going to talk about how that can get you completely away from that towards the end of this episode. But if you can have this script and nail down getting them on a virtual call with you right away, that will help you with your paid lead strategy. Because from what I've heard and what I've seen, basically these portals are staying out of it. They're not really providing, I, I know some popular ones are providing little touring agreements with no commission involved. Guys, you don't want that. You don't want that. Because if they find a house, yes, if they write up a contract, then they have to agree to a commission to you, but they can then just say, you know what, I'm going to either do it myself or I'm going to have an attorney do it or I'm going to have my brother do it. They don't have to use you. And you are, because these touring agreements, you are not procuring calls and you are not due a commission because there's no commission on them. It's a trial period. So getting a buyer's agency agreement signed should be paramount if you're doing paid leads. You should not be just running to houses. You should not be out of compliance. You should be not here in New Jersey at risk of losing your real estate license. You should be working your ass off when you get those leads to convert them to an immediate appointment. And it doesn't always have to be immediate. You could say, hey, you know, again, especially you're at a kid's soccer game or something like that. Hey, could you hop on a virtual call in an hour? And then, you know, I'm going to start to make the appointment, but we need to get on that virtual call first to go over these changes. And the looky loos, the nosy neighbors, the people wasting your time are going to say no. But someone who's serious and wants to actually go view that home and someone who's serious about buying a home will say yes, telling you right now. So I am seeing if you want to have paid leads as part of your business, there are quite a few solid ones out there and there's no shortage of finding opportunities. Literally just Google paid leads for real estate agents and you're only going to have 7,000 options to choose from. The important part, if you want them to be worth it to you, is to make sure two things happen. You are still building a personal brand. You are still growing on social media. You are still growing in your community. And number two, so it's not, you're not relying on it. And number two, you have the scripts that get an immediate appointment and get you in front of that consumer virtually so you could go through the buyer's agency agreement, get it signed, get everything delivered, and get into the houses and start building rapport. Look at it rather than, okay, I am a door opener to these are opportunities to get someone on a virtual call. Pivot that mindset and you will have success with it. Your The amount of times you run out will be less. I'm telling you right now. But they will actually, these leads will actually be worth it to you far greater than if you don't do this. And if you just use a touring agreement just to, you know, have something, you know, docu-signed automatically and then and then you go and show the house. You will do far better and they will worth they will be worth more to you as an agent. Now I think overall in the marketplace, like I opened this episode, I think the value of a paid lead drops dramatically. Because as we are going into this new, this real estate, you know, 2.0 or whatever we want to call it, this next phase of real estate, the ones with the biggest brands are going to win. The ones revol- revolving and relying around paid leads are not going to win. That doesn't mean if you have both, you are going to struggle. The best solution, to be honest, for a lot of agents is to have a multifaceted approach. Have some paid leads while also building a massive personal brand. And then as you sell more houses, past clients, referral, repeat, all this stuff comes in. Your brand is bringing in strangers that never met you. That's continuing to grow. You're continuing to build income in so many different ways. And at the same time, you're reinvesting that maybe into some paid leads and some different lead sources or pay a closing lead sources. And then you're able to take some of those people, put them into your process, have more to to branch off on social media, build more past clients. And then literally you see the snowball of what your career comes and things become a lot easier for you. So I don't want you to 100% say no to pay leads. I think the value of them has dropped dramatically. I think a lot of these companies that sell leads are going to have a really tough time. No matter how hard the real estate industry gets, the reality is buyer leads vastly are not worth it for many agents. But great agents that can actually convert them and have the right scripts will do okay with them and it will help them. But the problem is those teams and everything like that that rely on paid leads. We all have them in our market. Those Zillow Flex teams, the teams that run 100% off of spending 10, 15, 20, 30, thousand dollars a month just to have a return those teams are going to struggle dramatically in this new environment the teams the brands the agents with 
a personal brand, social media presence are gonna be the ones that win. It's that simple. But if you are gonna do paid leads, please make sure you have the right resources in front of you and you are able to convert them into those immediate or shortly after immediate appointments right away. Because if you do, you will have success. That's what I've seen so far. I've been coaching agents on this and they are doing extremely well with it. But they're pivoting right away to getting an appointment and not you know, relying on being out of compliance, not following the state law, anything like that. And they're having better success with it. And again, it's okay to have paid leads. Just make sure you're doing it right.